how was the parents reaction the first time you told them like you're in love or you want to get married from both sides uh my mom just asked me uh, are you sure is this your the de- his decision you're you're going to make uh, and i said yeah mm-hmm. i want to make it mm-hmm. i actually had thought about it i thought a lot about it mm-hmm. and uh you know i had so many plans i had in my head mm-hmm. i had plans i was going to no i had finished uh, college mm-hmm. so i was going to find a job work for a few in my head i was going to work until i was 28 <laughs> and then get married around 29 there mm-hmm. by 30 i would have one kid mm-hmm. and then uh, oh, from there it was a bit fuzzy <laughs> but in my head i was going to at least not st- you know not you you at least not work out school, you work something out at least you have your own money mm. and then here i am at uh, 21 <laughs> already seeing someone Mm-hmm. and then he he proposed on 209 right is the time you said yes or the time you proposed did i propose so i, I kept him so pending a little bit eh, for how long <laughs> a year two a year i, I told you no it was a week i only kept you pending for ah, a week. you kept me longer than that that's yeah, at least three times i know but you know mm. I, I also was testing mm. him i thought to myself <laughs> mm. if he gets frustrated and you know just goes mm. then it's not meant to be yeah mm. i don't remember it being a year mm. or two mm. but i know when he proposed mm. i stayed for one week mm. before i told him yes or no <laughs> but i think i think he knew it was going to be a yes uh-huh. i yeah. was hopeful wow. <laughs> how was the reaction of your parents back at home because at first i understood you are not coming to stay in kenya at first no uh. but uh, my parents mm. Well, when I came back from mm. the first 10 day trip, mm. I taken mm. one picture of her. We had, I got a digital oh, camera. I actually gave away the camera before I came back, so I brought the memory card back. Mm. So, the moment I arrived, they took my memory cards and, and printed everything so off and they said, "Who is this girl? Who is <laughs> this?" <one?" laughs> Someone I met. Anyway, mm. That's the end of it. They didn't know any more until I was able to contact her a few months later. Mm-hmm. Now, it's a bit surprising in mm. Canada, my part of Canada, we have very few black people. Like I'd seen two in my entire life before two. coming to Kenya. Yes. Well, and how did you come to Kenya? Uh, I had a friend in that was working as a temporary teacher. Okay. And I'd had a good winter with my business because mm-hmm. I had a business in that place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's two weeks every spring and every fall where there's no work oh. allowed. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. one of the Canadian yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I said I wanted to travel at least a little bit. So I was able to come this way because she was able to, that, that teacher now, in RBA was able to help facilitate oh. flights mm-hmm. and connections and motel. Okay. So that's how I came the first time. Even wow. so, I decided mm-hmm. it was one of two places in the world that I wanted to go, either East Africa, Kenya, Nairobi, mm-hmm. or Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So I must And you ended up this. in Kenya. Yes, at least I came this side instead of that side. And how did you make a decision of settling down here? When I came the first time, mm-hmm. I I I love the country. I love the people, mm. especially the people. There I I saw opportunities both to help the population and also mm. the the potential for growth in this country is very great. So I I I love the country. You know most of us are Africans, you are fighting especially even as Kenyans, you are fighting to go like to Canada, not even US. I know many people they do fight to go to US, but also when you think of uh, Canada it's even better than US. So it 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 sounds funny that you can come from where people are fighting to and Go. settle here. <laughs> it was out of love. Not only that. Uh. Not only that. Uh. You know, it's a bit where people always think it's greener on the other side. Mm. So, you Kenyans. Mm. In general, you can't see the good things you have. You want to go abroad and see the good things on that side. And for us, a little bit the same, but the the potential is here mm-hmm. and right now those developed countries they're developed already mm. they're good countries they're high up but they're coming down they in fact i can tell you stories of that side <laughs> short and not because we are trying to raise on the african side especially here especially mm-hmm. well the little bit i've seen of africa but especially here in kenya 
people are low, but they're coming up quickly. Yeah. They're climbing by leaps and bounds. Mm. Even the way I've seen the country change since I first came in 2008, it's almost unrecognizable how far we've come mm. in the last 12 years. Wow. I mean, if, if you can even think back yeah. clearly as to what it was like then and mm. what it's like now, mm. because I was in the last, the last year of Moyes, not, not Moyes, Kibaki's rule. Kibaki. Mm. So we didn't have the new constitution yet. Yeah. I remember I was here during that. Mm. And we have come far. Sure. We have come far. Mm. And just for a place to stay and a place to raise kids, mm. it's very nice to be in a country coming up. So as Kenyans, we should uh, run to embrace our country. <laughs> it's, 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 like it's, it's good to travel. Yeah. It's good to travel. And mm. it's really good to mm. get an idea of a second, a second culture mm. so that you can see what's cultural and what's what's real I, I don't know if that's the right way of saying it mm. so i won't ever say you shouldn't travel you should travel wow. although you have a lot of good things here as well mm. yeah. so what was the reaction of your parents that you're marrying someone from a, a especially a black girl if like you have not seen black people that much and to add on it you are coming to settle down here where your family is not to start with, mm. my, my parents had been missionaries, oh. so they knew already about yeah. leaving family and settling somewhere far. Mm. They had planned to go to Indonesia. Mm. It got cancelled, so that's why they ended up back in yeah. Canada. Mm. So that idea was already in their mind a little bit. It wasn't mm. completely new. Mm. Most people in Canada, as I see, their first reaction is shock, mm. seeing that I want to be with a black girl and, and marry her, and that's, that's the way it is. Mm. So their first first reaction mm. was complete shock and disbelief Baba. but then after a couple of minutes mm. you know they, they kind of pat themselves and see it so my mom was like what <laughs> <laughs> and then i Baba. said yes the same girl you saw in the picture now i had to bring the picture out again Baba. and she looked and now you could see her trying to turn it over in her mind for a minute mm. Mm. she's a beautiful girl and now she asks yeah. how she is what she's like mm. because you know the color is not the important thing sure the character is so yeah. Now, as soon as she realized that, she was, she was okay with it. Okay. My dad, he had a lot harder time with it. I remember we had a, was it what, a 12-hour drive back from one job. Wow. And he was talking the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> About it. <laughs> trying to talk me out of it, in a way. Wow. Not, not, not seriously stopping mm. me, but are you sure? And what about... Your kids, where yeah. are you going to live? Mm. Are you going to face racism on this side? Are you going to have problem on that side? Mm. You know it's going to be trouble with paperwork. Yes, I knew all those things, but I was sure. I was sure. But at the end of it, he's like, okay, I'm okay with it. Which is good because he couldn't That was a bold <laughs> step. <laughs> that was a bold step to take. <laughs> wow. Hey, and that encouraged that we have true love. You know, most of us, especially Africans, we believe that uh, the only white person that a girl can be with, it's, it's the old man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good for my viewers to see. <laughs> it, 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 it is not that you can only be with a, a, a white old man. No, we have true love. You can find true love with young white men. <laughs> this gives us a, a different picture of life and of love and gives hope that true love is there people who can if you fight true love someone man can sacrifice someone can sacrifice a lot just to be with you so if you get someone and he is not ready to sacrifice for you know that in a doubt yeah, there's something there is something did you do a wedding or you yes, it was yes. it is Hooves and horns, uh. you say dowry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, it's difficult. None of my family could come. Uh. I invited them, but they were afraid. What? I don't know why. Uh. You know, they, the are, they are that scared of Africa. The only news that gets out of Africa is bad news. Yeah. So the and only I hope right now the, the things have changed. They They're still afraid. People they know. <laughs> <laughs> there are good things that do happen in Africa. Good news doesn't get out of Africa. Serious. Seriously. So yeah. if there's, remember some years back, there was a fuel tanker overturned and several people. Yeah, yeah, burnt. Uh, that they heard about. But good things, you don't know AIDS, anything. AIDS, people dying of HIV, that they hear about. When there was They the know major, about Kibera. They know about major slums, mm. yes, they, that they hear about. Mm. But try to tell them one good thing. Like we have good tarmac roads, better here than in Canada. Yeah. 
they don't think you're telling the truth. I showed them a picture of downtown Nairobi, beautiful, mm. tall buildings, architecture, worth coming to visit. They say, that can't be Africa. What? Africa is jungle. Africa, you have to be chopping your way with, with a panga to get to school. I'm telling you, that's not the way it is. But I blame the, 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 the media people, especially don't blame them outside. Too heavily. Yeah. Don't blame them too much. Uh -huh. 